Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of the thriller films from 2023, titled Your Lucky Day. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. At the start of the movie, we see an advertisement for tonight's Mega Ball jackpot, which is a whopping $156 million. Somewhere in town, we see a drug dealer named Sterling selling some stuff to a young man, but the boy doesn't have enough money, so Sterling demands his stuff back. But then all of a sudden, another man punches him from behind, and the two run away with the drugs. Sterling chases after them, and then points his gun at them, but the boys disregard his threat, and drive away, leaving Sterling enraged. The scene then cuts to a convenience store, where an officer enters to use the restroom. The owner, Amir, points him in the right direction without thinking much. A pregnant woman and her boyfriend are also present, they are here to buy some ice cream. Shortly after, a wealthy looking man and Sterling enter the store at the same time. While the man goes to buy some lottery tickets, the drug dealer heads to grab a drink. The wealthy man appears to be a bit of a racist, as he makes fun of Amir's business. The man then scans all his lottery tickets, and to his utter shock, one of them hits the jackpot. His ticket matches the numbers on the machine, and Amir confirms that the man hits the jackpot, which is $156 million. Amir is happy as well because as per the government law, he, being the ticket seller, is entitled to 5% of the total winnings. As the two celebrate with loud cheers, Sterling hears the winning prize. Since he is already short on cash, greed sets in, and he decides to cover his face with a magazine paper, and points his gun at the wealthy man. Sterling demands the lottery ticket, leaving everyone stunned. At first, the man refuses to comply, but when Sterling threatens to shoot, he reluctantly hands over the ticket. Meanwhile, the cop hears the commotion from inside the restroom, so he stealthily comes out to check, and orders Sterling to drop his weapon. This leaves the wealthy man in a tough spot, and the cop decides to take a shot, but unfortunately. Instead of hitting the target, he strikes the wealthy man, killing him on the spot. After a tense few seconds, Sterling manages to shoot the officer twice, killing him as well. Amir tries to grab his gun, but Sterling catches him, and punishes him with a blow to the nose. Since there are cameras in the store, he demands to know where the main computer is, so Amir reluctantly reveals that they're at the back. He orders Amir to close the store and turn off the lights, as he wants to get rid of the bodies. He also confiscates everyone's cell phones and other personal belongings. Meanwhile, the couple, Anna and Abraham are completely shaken by what just happened. They simply came for some ice cream, but now there's two dead bodies in the store. Sterling then points his gun at Amir and Abraham, forcing them to clean up the mess. They stash the dead bodies in the restroom, and plan to get rid of it later. They then proceed to the storeroom to delete the camera footage, and here the store owner suddenly says that he is ready to help Sterling. Sterling once again asks the store owner to delete the CCTV footage, but Amir states that even if they do so, things are not that simple. He explains that when someone wins the mega jackpot, the authorities always confirm it with the store. Since the place is a complete mess, it would be impossible to get away with the lottery money. Hearing this, Sterling realizes that he needs the people, so he cuts off their bondage, and then asks them to make up a believable story, promising to pay them if they cooperate. It's about a bad guy who comes in, tries to rob the wealthy old man, and the cop comes in and gets shot, while the bad guy escapes. Amir wants $10 million in exchange for his services, but Sterling says he's only going to give $4 million. The only one who opposes the plan is Anna, as she is scared of being caught by the police. Realizing that his wife is about to give birth, Abraham is hesitant, and asks for $20 million, but Sterling only offers $6 million for the couple. Sterling even lets the couple walk away if they want to, but Abraham convinces his wife, he claims that if they get the money, they can secure a great future for their child. Just then, the group is interrupted by loud banging noises, and upon checking the camera, Amir realizes that his brother-in-law, Hassan, has arrived for his night duty. The panic Sterling immediately orders Amir to get rid of his brother. 
Hassan talks about the cut on his nose, but Amir lies that he fell earlier. The brother then gets into the store, and Amir claims that they're closed for the night, but a security guard suddenly enters the store for some cigarettes. Amir nervously gets him one, and the guard accidentally strikes one of the bullet shells on the ground. He recognizes the sound and looks for it, but doesn't find it anywhere, so he decides to leave. After the security leaves, Amir persuades his brother to go home, saying he needs some alone time. He is now relieved that he has taken care of his brother-in-law, but just when one problem seems to be averted, another one arises. The two men who just came in notice the dead man's luxury car outside. If it's not taken care of urgently, people will start suspecting that it has been stolen. Anna asserts that they will have to change their story, which is that nothing happened here. But they have to get rid of the car and the bodies immediately. They then head to the restroom, where the cheeky drug dealer suggests they incinerate the bodies with acid, but the others think it's not such a good idea. Sterling checks the rich man's pockets for his phone. When he finds it, Anna goes through it to learn about his preferences. She soon finds out that the rich man goes on regular trips, and that he has no family members. And so, she plans to book a trip for him to the Virgin Islands for a month. She will also set up an out-of-office reply, and text his secretary about the same, no one will ever suspect his disappearance in a month. The group then leaves the room to discuss where to dispose of the bodies. After a while, a fly sits on the cop's face, and then this happens. The cop suddenly comes back to life, and it turns out that he had only passed out due to the trauma and wounds to his shoulder. He also sees the rich man's body next to him, which makes him feel guilty. Just then, Abraham and Amir enter the room to get rid of the rich man's body, and the cop, who is named Cody, barely manages to play dead. After the guys are gone, he grabs his phone to call for help. But instead of contacting his fellow officers, he opts for his dad, Captain Dick, who is currently having a few beers with his friends. It turns out Cody has also heard about the $156 million jackpot, and instead of admitting his mistake, he tells his dad that someone shot the winner and took the ticket. Dick and his friends are army veterans, who are also struggling financially, so he wants them to come here, rescue him, and take the lottery ticket. On the other hand, the group loads the rich man's body in his own car, and Abraham is tasked with disposing of it near the sea. The scared guy wants Anna to come with him, but Sterling asserts that she is needed here. When the guys get into an argument, Anna herself steps forward and urges her boyfriend to go alone. She promises that she will take care of herself. Before departing, Sterling tapes an on-call phone to Abraham's car, so that he can hear him all the time. After a few minutes of driving, Abraham reaches a junction where a local train passes through. This creates a lot of noise so Sterling isn't able to hear him from the other end. Abraham then gets out of the vehicle, calling for help. Although he wants the money for his family, he is also scared for Anna's well-being. Unfortunately, this turns out to be a bad idea as the security suspects him of stealing the vehicle. Abraham tries to explain his predicament, but the security sprays him with pepper spray. The two get into a tussle, during which the security accidentally lands on his head, killing him on the spot. Since there is no one around, Abraham quickly loads his body in the trunk and sets off. Now, instead of one corpse, he has two to take care of. Meanwhile, Dick and friends arrive outside the store, completely loaded. They have brought guns, snipers, walkie-talkies, and all other equipment that an army veteran generally uses during war. Through the sniper, they check the surroundings and keep a close eye on Sterling. As all this is happening, Cody is still inside the restroom, slowly bleeding away. After deleting all the CCTV footage, Amir is tired of waiting, he knows that Sterling will betray them as soon as everything is cleared. So, he grabs a hammer to finish him off right now. Anna warns him against doing it, but Amir remains resolute in his decision. At the same time, the sniper monitors Sterling from outside, and then takes a shot at Sterling, but he misses by centimeters. Soon, the other army veterans burst in through the door, and Amir is the first one to be gunned down, while Cody is rescued. Sterling tries to escape through the front door, but he is eventually shot and killed by the sniper. 
Abraham hears the sound of gunshots through his phone, and he keeps asking if everything is all right, but no one replies to him. Meanwhile, Dick checks every nook and corner of the store to see if there are any other people. He finds Anna in a room, but she is lying motionless on the ground, with a polythene over her face, pretending to be dead. But Dick, who is an army veteran, is not going to leave her so easily. He steps on her fingers and crushes them brutally to get a reaction from her, but Anna manages to stay still. Dick then proceeds to step on her pregnant belly, but before he can do so, Abraham talks over the phone. This makes the army veteran realize that there's one more guy in the mix, so he goes to the other rooms to check. But then, out of nowhere, Anna arrives out of the blue and drives an axe into his head. She strikes him multiple times, until he stops breathing. On the other hand, Abraham finally gets rid of the vehicle by loading it into a yacht. He then hurries to the store on foot to save his girlfriend. Back at the store, when another guy, Dobbs, tries to get in, Anna grabs Dick's gun, and fires at him. She talks on his walkie-talkie and warns them to stay away, or else she'll burn the ticket. When asked where she got the radio, she reveals that she took it from Dick's dead body. The remaining two veterans then gather in their vehicle, and Cody, who has lost a lot of blood, requests to be taken to the hospital, but Captain Rutledge suggests they wait. He also doesn't disclose that his father has already been killed. Here Dobbs is starting to have doubts about the mission, but Rutledge is adamant on getting the lottery ticket. Shortly after, Abraham arrives at the store's door, unaware of everything that has transpired. When the army veterans notice him, they quickly incapacitate him, and take him to their vehicle. They then begin torturing him to lure the girl out, but she instead contacts them on the walkie-talkie. Anna asserts that the authorities will never hand over the $156 million cash without a believable story. However, she has won about a poor girl, and her piano-playing husband. One night, they won the lottery ticket, and some bad guys tried to rob them, but some brave ex-army officers arrived at the scene, and saved the day. With this story, Anna promises to share half the money with them, if they let her and Abraham go. Unfortunately, Captain Rutledge is having none of it, and he instead sends Dobbs to finish her off. The menacing-looking guy searches the dark store with a gun in hand. He eventually finds Anna inside the freezer, and a fight breaks out between him and Anna. Just when it seems like he is going to choke her to death, Anna stabs him with a broken glass bottle. This causes a large wound in his neck, and he ultimately passes away. Now that the pregnant woman has fought two army veterans, she is left bruised and battered. With the last ounce of her strength, she lights a match, and turns on the fire sprinklers, hoping it can alert the cops. Outside, when Dobbs takes too long to return, Captain Rutledge decides to take matters into his own hands. He forces Abraham out of the vehicle, and heads inside the store. Meanwhile, a bloodied Anna crawls to the front door to take the lottery ticket from Sterling. As she is staring at it, Cody suddenly arrives, and brutally shoots her in the stomach as a form of revenge for his father's death. But before he can finish her off completely, Abraham and Rutledge arrive at the scene. In an unexpected turn of events, the notorious captain approaches Cody, and does this. <laughs> He kills him with his own gun. This is because the cop was becoming a liability, and Rutledge didn't want to have any loose ends. Captain Rutledge turns to Abraham, and lets him free. He knows that he needs them, and that they need him too, so he lets them walk away for now. Shortly after, the cops arrive at the scene, and everything is taken under control. The movie then cuts to several weeks later, and we see Rutledge on a TV show. Turns out he has become a national hero after the couple lied that he rescued them. He has also received half of the lottery prize, $78 million, as per their deal. Meanwhile, we see Anna recovering at the hospital. Despite the gunshot to her stomach, her baby is born in perfectly good condition, and she receives a lot of gifts from people who feel bad for what she went through. The couple ponders about what they should do next, and this is where the movie ends. Okay guys, that's all the recap of your lucky day 2023. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.